Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, this oh. is Gemma Redgrave. This is Ingrid Oliver. Thank you. Um, I play Osgood. I play Kate Stewart. And um, we've got some questions from Twitter that we're going to attempt to answer. This is exciting. This is very exciting. Yeah. Right, here we go. Hey. 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 If UNIT was real, which one of you do you reckon are most likely to get the job? Who's got the better qualifications? Well, it's clearly you, Ingrid. I mean, it's obvious. I, the only thing I'm qualified to do is drive. That's it. That's the, the only thing I've ever been qualified to do. You're, you're very good at problem solving and quizzes. Thank you. In real life. In real life. That's also, that's also true. But you have your leadership skills. I mean, I say yours, yours and Kate's are also extraordinary. Just now, actually, when we were recording, you said an order and I thought, oh, bloody hell. I, I would follow that. I'd follow her to the ends of the earth. I'm quite loud. I give you that. I could be heard over a helicopter. That's what it needs. That's so true. listen, it's a tie. I think that's impossible. I think it's a tie. I, I, I do think answer. that's impossible. Also, I can't keep a secret. So I mean, that blows me out of the water <laughs> straight away. No, that's, that's bad. <laughs> um, I mean, except when I have to for my friends, in which case I'll take them to the grave. But <sighs> right, here we go. Question? Yes, you read. Um, for both of us, if Kate and Osgood were to switch places for the duration of a story, what do you think they'd learn about one another's roles within UNIT? That is, that's a very esoteric question, isn't it? That's a very, very yeah. tricky question. And I, I, I think Osgood, if she was Kate for a, f a few uh, days, would learn um, strength, leadership, command, not things that she naturally has. I think Kate would learn patience. Oh. And um, I think she'd learn to follow process more closely. That's lovely. That's very sweet. That's, I think that's answered that question. That was quite a hard question. I think that was a good answer. I, I hope so. I, I hope you thought that was a good answer. Right, here we are. Oh, this is mine. Do you both have an actor who you would love to work with or character? Kate Stewart meets Bramwell. Osgood meets D.I. Briggs. That's a really good question. Well, we did work with John Hurt. I'm just oh, going to say, no, I'd love to yeah. work with John Hurt again. Yeah, yeah. He was incredible. I could listen to him forever. Yes. He was, he was, he was phenomenal. Yeah. He was very twinkly. Generous and kind and funny and quite brilliant. Um, and he's missed, isn't he? Very much so. Um, he also taught me how to order good wine. So that was that was very good. Um, my, my actor, following on from our conversation last night where I talked about uh, Top Gun Maverick that I went to see, Tom Cruise, I'd like to work with Tom Cruise. Um, if he could be in a Doctor Who, if that could be in a Doctor Who environment, that would be even better. That would be the ideal, really, so. Tom Cruise in Doctor Who. It's, I mean, from your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, does UNIT only hire hot people? Oh, or does oh. working for UNIT make you hot? Come on, moving on. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Thank you oh, so much. I, wouldn't I mean, thank you, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> ma, ma, ma. <laughs> oh, I hated that question. It was awful. It's dreadful. Thank um, you. Which monster is in your earliest memories of the show and would you like to fight them in a story one day? If not, which would you like to battle? Well, it's Daleks for me. I've said this so many times yeah. before. I'm sure that's um, if, if, anybody's, if anybody ever listens to a word I say, which I don't, I don't I recommend. Do. I oh, do. I, I listen to a word because I also, Daleks are the ones that I remember growing up. But I would say uh, uh, the, for me, the Weeping Angels, which are, they're not earliest memories of the show, to be fair. But but the Weeping Angels, which I think are the scariest, the scariest ones, and I got to work with them, <laughs> work with them, got to work with them. Uh, they were very demanding. Um, <laughs> on uh, it was like a video game, for like a, a phone video game. Um, so that was a that was a wish fulfilled. They they are the most terrifying. They're really scary. Yeah, the children in gas masks are pretty bloody scary. Oh yeah. Right. Um, okay. Would either of you ever like to actually write? An episode of Unit. Well, obviously you. Um, you write. Yes, yes, and actually I have thought about it when we're, when we're reading them. I think, oh, <laughs> how hard can this be? No, I don't <laughs> think. That. I don't think that it's actually very hard, and it takes a lot of work, and it's a very specific skill, I think, writing for. Yeah, very uh, specific for for the audio plays because you have to describe everything you're seeing for people so they can see see it at home. But they they seem like a lot of fun. 
Yeah. And that's the nice thing about science fiction is that you could literally go anywhere with it. So yes, if you're watching, I would like to. Call me. How has the change in Doctor Incarnations affected your character portrayals since your character introductions? Hmm. Well, that's quite an interesting question because, of course, they do change. Um, uh, I mean, the character, the, 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 they're, they're very, um, they're, they're beautifully created and very well and fully realised and um, established. But when you play with Matt Smith as somebody who was in my 40s at the time um, and he's younger, it's different when you play with um, Peter Capaldi, who's um, the same age, um, maybe a bit older. And so it necessarily changes the way that you play with them. Mm. And Jodie you worked with obviously recently as and well. And Jodie yeah. I worked with recently. And that's different again. It's, um, it does change. Each doctor changes and you mourn the passing of each doctor. And then there's a new relationship to make. And each relationship is different from the last. Yeah. I think, no, I think that's, I think that's right. Well, yeah, because you're, you're acting with a different person and we all react differently to different people. But yes. also the doctors deliberately are written as different yeah. characters in a way. And they have different energy. And exactly that changes that. the energy and that changes everything. It yeah. changes the writing, it changes everything. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you could travel back in time, what era would you visit and why? The one I'd really like to go is the jazz era. Oh, yes. I'd nice. love to go. Back. Like sort of 20s or 30s? Yeah, 20s, 30s. Mm. Flappers and, and um, Art Deco. And, and the, 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 the rise of jazz. I'd like to go to Paris in the jazz age. Oh, come on. Yeah. Have I you seen that film Midnight in Paris with Owen Wilson? No. Mm. It's, a, it's basically about that. It's exactly that. That's what he does. He goes back in time. Oh, OK. OK. To that era, exactly. That's me. Um, I would go back to the 80s because I uh, the fashions. Shoulder pads. That's enough of that. OK. Oh, OK, this is the last question. Mm. This is, um, do you think Kate and Osgood would ever hang out together outside of work? And if so, what would they do? Oh, yes. Well, karaoke, obviously. <laughs> I, would, I would like that. I know that you would like that. I would love it. Would I you would, actually? No, Kate would love it. I think Kate should do that. I okay. think it needs, I think... I think you know, I can very much, there's a karaoke vibe. Maybe it's because it's in a basement, it's quite dark. That is essentially what karaoke bars are. Yeah. So I, I get karaoke vibes from Unit. Um, but we're actually we're going to go for coffee, aren't we, Sim? We are. We're so going we to, do. Yeah. yeah. We, we are going to hang, hang out. out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Fabulous question. And thank you for listening to our audio our audio dramas. We didn't write them, but we're in them. <laughs> <laughs>